Hey guys, today we're in Dubai and we'll be doing a back and biceps workout. We'll be going to Banoosh Gym, which is the most famous gym here in Dubai. We actually saw Kyle from the Milk Boys here twice, so we're essentially best friends. We're in our hotel room right now, so we're going to take some pre-workout and then head to the gym. If you guys are looking for pre-workout, check out Man Sports. They have a great selection of pre-workout. And if you use code MARTIN, you'll get a nice discount. Alright, just made it to Banoosh Gym and we just finished warming up. So we're going to start off our back and bicep workout with barbell rows. Barbell rows are to target the mid-back and they have to be one of my favorite exercises for the mid-back. A lot of bodybuilders were claimed that the barbell row sucks because of the quarter man, but if you guys watch my stuff, you know that I enjoy the quarter man. And another thing is that it's easy to cheat because you have your legs and your low back to help you out. So for barbell rows, I recommend focusing on form and doing a lighter weight. Try and be strict on form, but if later in the in the reps, so if you're doing 10 to 12 reps and maybe towards 10, 11, 12 reps, you're getting a little bit tired, I'm okay with using a little bit of legs and back just to overload the muscle. But at least for the beginning of your sets, focus on using good form and and then possibly doing a little bit of controlled and tactical cheating at the end. Also, if you guys are looking for structured athletic bodybuilding programs with sets, reps, and rest time, be sure to check out mine and my brother Mario's Ultimate Athletic Bodybuilding Academy, which not only has a great athletic bodybuilding push-pull leg workout, but you also get weekly calls with both of us to answer any of your fitness questions. So I just finished barbell rows and our second exercise will be a lap focus exercise. And if you watch my videos, you obviously know it's gonna be a pull-up. I rarely add lap pull-downs to my workout routines just because I think it's just a beta version of a pull-up. Pull-ups have become accustomed to using your own body weight and you also get a good core demand as well. So if you can't do pull-ups, just try and do as many as you can. I've noticed from personal experience that a lot of information online will tell you to get better at pull-ups, do lap pull-downs, and eventually you can get to do pull-ups. From personal experience, if you just go on the bar and do as many pull-ups as you can and also add a lot of negatives, that will help you do more pull-ups than doing lap pull downs. So yeah, we'll be doing pull ups, higher reps here because we don't have a chain with us. So yeah, pull ups. All right, final back exercise. We're gonna be doing a one arm high cable row. The reason why I really like this exercise is because of the stretch you can get at the top because you're only using one arm. So when performing this exercise, focus on getting a great stretch at the top and then getting full range of motion down at the bottom. All right, so in between back and biceps, I like to hit posture, kind of like a cool down. So even though we're on vacation, posture doesn't take a vacation. There's no days off for posture. And in my last video, a lot of you guys were talking trash about my brother's posture. I'm the only guy that's allowed to do that. I feel like that's a good example of the fact that when people think about posture training, they think, oh, I'm gonna fix my posture in a couple weeks or a month. You guys have been trashing your posture for years now. So it will take a little bit of time to fix your posture permanently. But if you guys do your posture training consistently, you'll eventually see results. For back and biceps, I like to hit T raises to hit the mid traps. We're gonna be doing palms up, which I feel like helps take the rear delts out of the movement. Cue yourself to bring your shoulder blades together and not your arms outwards because if you think about moving your arms outwards You'll end up using more rear delts, but if you think about moving your shoulder blades together, then you'll hit more mid traps All right, now onto biceps, but before we start biceps, my brother Mario did a chest and shoulder workout here in Dubai. So after watching this video, be sure to check that one out. So to start biceps, I always like to start off with a compound movement and I don't think you get much better than the chin up. I've had a couple people mention that on my chin ups, I'm not doing chin ups, I'm doing forehead ups. The reason why it looks like I'm just doing forehead ups is because if you cue yourself to curl yourself up to the bar rather than pull yourself up, you end up bringing your forehead to the bar. So if you cue yourself to curl yourself up to the bar, it will take the backs out of it and focus more on the biceps. Alright, so I just saw someone chest pressing with a belt on, so I'm pretty pissed right now. 
but we'll go ahead and move on to the next exercise. Next exercise will be more of a forearm focus. So we're gonna be doing hammer curls for the brachialis and the brachioradialis. And then we'll be doing farmer carries right after that. Hammer curls, I won't get into detail too much because hammer curls are pretty easy to do. Farmer carries, I feel like a lot of people ego lift on farmer carries. People will grab as much weight as they can carry and then go for it. Remember, farmer carries, a big part of farmer carries is keeping good posture. So I want you to pick a weight that's challenging that you can do for roughly 45-ish seconds, but you can also maintain good posture with. Our last exercise will be a seated incline dumbbell curl. I know what you're thinking, why are you doing an exercise seated? The reason why I'm doing this exercise seated is because I feel like the pros outweigh the cons. Yes, you're seated, but because you're sitting on an incline, you're able to get a maximal stretch on the biceps. Most people just think of the biceps as an elbow flexor, but the biceps are also a shoulder flexor. So being able to sit down on an incline like this allows you to not only get your elbow in an extended position, but also your shoulders in an extended position. So when performing this exercise, just like I mentioned earlier, focus on getting a great stretch at the very bottom. So last exercise for this entire workout, we're gonna be doing lower abs. So we'll be doing captain's chair leg raises. When performing this exercise, I feel like a lot of people, they think that their abs are contracting because they're lifting their legs up, which is not true. When you're lifting your legs up, your hip flexors are activating. What your abs do is they help stabilize the pelvis and counter what the hip flexors will be doing to the pelvis. So focus on keeping a hollow body, AKA don't let your lower back arch. So keep it tight and tucked in and focus on breathing out at the top and then breathing in on the way down. All right, just got back to the hotel. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys are looking for structured athletic bodybuilding programs, like I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you guys use code Dubai, you'll get 20% off. Thank you to you guys. Because of you guys, my brother and I are able to go to nice places like this and travel. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching the video.